There was a man named Keith Critchlow who discovered something very important to understanding the geometry of music. First, he drew a straight line through an equilateral triangle, and then he measured from the middle of the center line and drew a straight line up to the top edge and back down to the bottom corner. Then he did the same, but passed through the center line of the top and back down again. He did this yet again on the other side. You can keep doing this on either side as well. By drawing this funny little form, he discovered something of great importance. He writes, continuing in this way, each successive proportion will be the harmonic mean between the previous proportion and the total length, and all of these proportions will be musically significant. 1 over 2 being the octave, 2 over 3 being the fifth, 4 over 5 being the major third, 8 over 9 being the major tone or step, and 16 over 17 being the half tone or step. In other words, he discovered the geometries of music, or at least one aspect of them. Then he tried measuring it in a different way, starting at a different point of the center line. At 3 fourths, he found the measurements were 1 over 7, 1 over 4, 2 over 5, 4 over 7, 8 over 11, and 16 over 19. All of these numbers are musically significant. This is very interesting. It means that the harmonics of music are somehow related to the proportions of the central line moving through a tetrahedron. Back to the polygraph, you can see that this drawing has a much greater value all of a sudden. Not only that, but it becomes even easier to make your measurements thanks to the polar graph itself. You can just draw a straight line through the drawing on the graph, and it will give you the center line. This information has been taken light years beyond what I just showed you though. A research team found that you can draw these lines not only from the center, but from any nodal points inside the upper half of the triangle, and you will come up with all known harmonics in existence. Basically, this means that anywhere the straight line and curve lines on the polar graph cross from 0 to 120 degrees and start making the pattern, you will come up with all known harmonic systems. Not only the western keyboard, but the eastern, and even many unknown systems that have never been used. As I'm not a musician, there's not much more I can show you related to this, but I would love to see what a musician could really do with this knowledge. How far could you take this?